three. There is Teddy Rinner of France, and he faces Baltaboy Baltaev of Uzbekistan. Not sure whether the Uzbek has been on with him before. Other sports have very similar situations. I can think of um, boxing and tennis. Maybe golf. What I'm talking about is where you have someone who's so dominant. Maybe like Federer or Tiger Woods or you know some boxer who just is untouchable for a period of time, and then all of a sudden, you know, he gets hit or plays a bad round or something and, and loses. Who's going to put that kind of pressure on to um, make this come about? Baltaev is way down there on the um, ranking stakes under normal circumstances. Wouldn't what a great, uh, a great deal of consideration when it comes to talking in terms of beating Rinne. But not until you get on the map and you start working away that you'll know what it will find out anyway. <laughs> so there's uh, Baltaev's chance to be the, uh, the giant killer, if you like. <laughs> Rene, just um, within himself. It's, uh, Producing anything at the moment. Looks as though he's put on a bit of weight as well. Baltaev will now get going as a result of that second penalty. Well, one would hope so anyway. He's going to get a third, Baltaev. He's just playing into the hands of Rinne. I'll go back to the uh, Iliadis fight. One error, two, yes, but three or four, impossible. By that stage, every fighter has to know that you're in a fight and you have to fight. Come to Paris, be drawn against the world and Olympic champion in the first round, of course, is not easy, but then you've got to do something about it. He, he, he hasn't shown anything. It's a 2 minutes 16. Baltaev showed nothing. And the referee said, if you're not going to come here and do something, you may as well go. So he did. And if you think that's harsh.